Yeah, see what we got here. Do that. Oh, I see thrusters are going on in different places. What do you reckon? That'd be far enough, eh? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Are the drills going to be able to pass it though? Is it still within the, I think the so. grid? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm out of breath now. <laughs> oh, let me run up and down them stairs. I don't run. I'm not a runner. Meteor storm inbound. Oh. I've got a bit of leg. Oh no. No, no, no. You better take some stuff out of this uh, container because it's getting cold. <laughs> Take it out and put it where exactly? <laughs> I think the thing is just to make another container, isn't it? Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, you can make it. It's just a small one, isn't it, I think. There's suddenly enough components to make one. We should do. Instead, I'm gonna risk and take another do that trip while the ship is somewhat traceable. I've added the components to all those, so you can weld them up. Yeah, I'm welding them. Yeah, see? Cool, job done. some upward facing thrusters so I need large stick tubes for that. What I really need is the inventory space to carry the damn tube. <laughs> I know your pain. Oh, I can get rid of my hand drill. Or I can't because the container's full. Okay, no worries. Okay. We need more thruster components. Uh oh. There's a buttload of thruster components in that. Oh, yeah, there's 608 in here, boss. There should be uh, even more. I think there are two stacks. Bacon? Bacon! <laughs> yeah, okay, we're good for thrusters for a while. <laughs> Unless we need like 1500 thrusters or something. I wouldn't put it past us. Yeah, well, my new ship fund is in there as well, so... I think everyone's new ship fund is in there. <laughs> okay, those two are good. Get welding. How good is... Uh, how full is this? Oh, uh, I think... We've got any displays here we have, sweet. And computer, come on. Oh. There you go, second storage has been set up. <laughs> Put my hand drill in there because I don't need it. Okay, what needed welding up? Please. Oh, okay. Right, just for the good measure, I am actually going to... Yeah. 
I'm going to enforce this. So it ties them all together. So they got, if they're going to separate, they got to separate big time. Do you know what I mean? They've actually got to make a job of it. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that on the other side, remember? Yeah. You might be better off putting two shorter rows in. You reckon? Yeah, like in there. And then same up the top. Are they heavy, them ones, yeah? Yeah. I'll get to work. Oh, can I get under there? I can do that one. You want these to be yellow or black? Uh, it's yellow looks it works because it goes well with the thrusters, eh? Fair enough. Looks, it makes it look a bit more industrial as well. Yeah, you work on that side, I'll do the same on this side. I'm gonna see if I can get underneath there as well and see if I can get this other one. Oh, I can jet back on for it, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if the thrusters damage these plates. They are right next to the thruster. It might be only certain things that get damaged by the thruster. Like flesh and blood? Hmm. Well, weaker components. And not. <laughs> right, that ties that together. And then we want to tie it onto the ceiling. Ooh, I shall send some medical components flying into the space and then maybe some someone lucky will find them. Like messing yeah. in a puddle or something. I'm just gonna tie it on in three points like that, DR. Yeah, I'm not lucky. I might go four points actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Four points. It's only five blocks long. Mm -hmm. Nine blocks long. Those are thruster blocks. Well, yeah. Can we add a couple in just to tie the top and bottom together? Okay. Oh, this is the full. Oh, I was thinking like, okay, this container shows so little volume. Why isn't it taking in? It's <laughs> <laughs> because I've been shoving it into the other one. can't tie them together on this side. Okay. But technically they're tied together by all these bits of uh, conveyor tube. I think like the entire road combined should make up for a couple of bits of armor. Alright. Should we see? And if this thing comes apart, I'm revoking your license. Okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. Before I before I take off though, I am gonna get rid of all this stuff in my inventory. And I'm also going to clear my toolbar. There you go. Right. Right then. Undocking. I'm going to go see what we need. I have undocked. Has anything broken? I don't know. I'm not looking. <laughs> We could do with some gold. 
Okay. I believe Oops. there's some uh, gold in the big ship's uh, refinery. Also, there's uh, a gold deposit on this very asteroid that we're parked at. Haha, <laughs> I see the gold, okay. We're gonna see if the new mining ship can handle this. <laughs> the new and improved, freshly armoured, hardcore battleship miner. They're just broken too. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you? I'm going underneath the asteroid, so... It broke in two in a very badass manner. <laughs> it might have broken two, but at least it looked cool doing it. <laughs> He's not even looking back at the explosion. <laughs> like a certain forum post the other day. <laughs> <laughs> the forum exploded? <laughs> Forum's always exploding. I always knew I, uh, I I had the occasion would come when this uh, <laughs> gift would be uh, appropriate. Appropriate, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay, the miners are on. Let's do this. Please don't fucking go crazy. Nothing has fallen off yet. It's always a good sign. I'm gonna come back out and make a bigger entrance for myself. So if I do reverse down a t or do go down a tunnel, I should be able to reverse out easier. Well, it should actually be pretty easy because you have a rear view camera. This is true. Do the controls go in reverse as well, though? I don't think so. Okay. But you're not exactly uh, racing the thing. Well, yeah, this is true. Hi. Uh, I'm on camera. <laughs> Hang on. T? Oh, I got out! It's not T to change the camera! Oh my god! <laughs> it's T <laughs> to exit camera. It's not T to go into camera. Good thing I dropped off all my inventory before I went and met my doom with a fucking mining drill. Da da da. Ah uh -huh. I need a saxophone. Uh, we totally oh, and I need a death holy. counter. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, we should sort of take the uh, pageant or maybe the stupidest death gets a cookie or something. <laughs> I can't actually turn off the drill. Oh no! I am in the cockpit. I can reverse out so you want your stuff. You are in the cockpit of the of the drill. Yes. Okay, that's cool. As lo as as long as the drill and the ship are still in one piece, that's fine. Now, how do I swap the camera before I kill myself the next time I do this? You use like a weapon. Oh, put it in the top in the toolbar. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. No, 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 look at me, I'm on camera, <laughs> dead! <laughs> Selfie time! Weapons and tools and drill. Actually, you should look at pretty good things. Weapons and tools and drill. Yes, yeah, because you died with a rolling. <laughs> Yay! No, I just turned the power off. <laughs> just press Y. Yeah. Alright, well... But if I were to uh, turn the power back on, you would get chewed up again. Okay. <laughs> so it's just Y to disable it, yeah? Y kills the power. Yes. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. I'm gonna start the, the drills. Oh. You can have a go. It's awesome, DR. It's so much fun. There we go. I killed drills. 
So now I can control them properly. Ah. Yeah, I got. I, they're in the toolbar for when I do it as well. It's annoying that it doesn't sort of carry over. Yes, yes, mine. What the fuck is that? Oh, a meteor. Okay. Your side. Hey look, it's my dead body! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it, DR! <laughs> That's what you get, asteroid! Hello! Shit load of gold now. Hello! Medium cargo container 5. 18.6k gold. Nice. Medium cargo container 6, 11.8k gold. <gasps> oh, so it goes to all of them! We have two medium cargo container 6s. <laughs> <It's laughs> kind of weird. Excellent. But yeah, that's because two containers are full. Oh, so we need to now work on the docking procedure. Mm-hmm. Okay, right, so do you want to bring... Oh. Um... I'll pilot that one, you pilot the bigger one, because I will crash the bigger one, and uh, we will restart this entire story all over again. Um, I'm beginning to question the wisdom of actually keeping the bigger one. You want to tear it down now, don't you? Mm, well, it's kind of hard to dock. Or we, no, we don't need to uh, build a docking system, actually. The big one's already got one. Ah, there you go. Alright, I'm going to get out of your way so you can uh, do the dock. I remember, it should be easy because there's a reverse camera. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like that massive thruster that's in the way there. <laughs> Okay, you need to rotate the ship so at least you're on like a, an even plane. Yeah, that's that's better. At least you're upside down, like fully upside down. I need to move forward just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay, they're both white. Oh, that means they're not active, okay. If you just reverse very slowly, you might get this. Alright, try reversing up again. You need to bring your nose, well, you're upside down, so I imagine you would need to bring the nose down. Yeah, and then you need to bring the ship up. Oh, other way. Yeah, and then bring the nose up just a tiny bit more. Other way. All right, and then bring it up just a tiny, and bring the whole ship up just a tiny bit more. Alright, now try reversing again. Oh, mm, yeah. Maybe bring the ship up just a tiny bit more. Let me, uh... Ah, what are you doing? I had T to get out. I was actually in the camera, so it didn't get me out of the ship. Alright, there's no need to rub it in, Mr. I can live when I get out of a ship. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Like, the nose, because you're upside down, it's harder to guide you. There we go, he's gonna rotate it. Excellent. Ooh. I think I'm heading the big ship. Yeah, Is that the right way up? Uh you need to go one you need to turn one more. Yeah, okay, that's that's the correct way up, yeah. Right, now you need to bring your nose up. About yeah. fifteen degrees up and uh and onward. Yeah, that is that stop there. That was almost the perfect angle. Oh, you almost had it. But yeah. 
Okay. And then you want to bring the whole ship up. Yep. Meteor storm inbound. Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> and then you want to Meteor rip the meteor. Earth. You might have this. Keep going. Uh, just want to check. Do you know what would be nice? Tractor beams. I just want to check that it's actually turned on. It looks like it's you. It went off and then came back on again. Yeah. Can you check the one on the uh, big ship? I assume it's on because it's got white lights on it. Uh, hang on. Ah, uh, how do I? Oh, I can access the system from this cargo container. Control panel. Yeah. Okay. Right. What is it? Connector. Toggle mm. block on. It says. So it is on. Owner. Nobody. Ah, that's why the turret was firing at this thing earlier. You got it? No. I figured <laughs> something else. Yeah, the big ship isn't owned, with any, uh, owned by anybody, I think, because it was here when we came. We're space engineers. Check that out. Engineering. <laughs> oh! Yeah, he, he was one of the coolest guys. <laughs> Your little engineer unit running about. Engineering. If I remember correctly, they sounded pretty geeky in one of the games. They sounded German. Oh, did they? At least I think they had. In one of them, they German sounded. Uh, occasionally. Oh. If If you've been affected by any of the engineering you've seen in this program, <laughs> please dial our no fee hotline. You imagine that we get a comment on the videos. That that welding was atrocious. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> you get call yourselves up. engineers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did 20 years at NASA, how dare you! <laughs> <laughs> Are there any components here that aren't steel plates? Because I have quite a surplus of steel plates. And I'll probably got something else first. I missed it! <laughs> what? Mandem has managed to dock the ships together. <laughs> of course he has. <laughs> nice work, DR. Uh, does this mean that this platform is uh, is available for building other ship at some point? Yeah? Mm. I think I won't be building my stuff today. Then at least I know that they can use the platform space. How do I access this? Right, I need uranium ore. Give me all the uranium ore, yes. Look at that. 
Yes, right, refiner. Whoa! Start the machines. How are them storage tanks looking, DR? I don't know, I'm not looking at them. Okay. I will come and examine them then. You there, are you emptying? No, you are not. You are stopped. Not sure what's going on there. I will. <laughs> I will fly away! <laughs> Well, the arc furnace is being kept full by something, so it's at least dumping the cobalt and iron okay. into it. Did we get cobalt? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just cobalt in it already. But it, it's continually dumping iron in as the cobalt's getting used up. Or it was. It seems to have stopped now. Because there's nothing in the connector. This processor is just going to take stuff straight out of the thing next to it, isn't it? Oh no, I put it round the wrong way. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> I am so smart. I suppose I can ferry it off of these other boxes if I need to. That's fine. Eventually I build a much more effective platform, I think. <laughs> the platform can stay, but all the stuff on it needs to be linked up properly. And on all four corners we will have a set of AA guns and missiles. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I can turn this Gatling on now. I hope. God. Do I need to find cover? Let the pants. You like Swiss cheese? <laughs> Uh -oh. Okay. I see a beam of, of some sort. Green Sorry, laser. I am friendly. They come in mm. peace, mostly. Mm. I believe in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, the are. Yeah, the issue was all the individual systems on the ship have ownership too. And they were all set to none, so it was targeted at systems. Oh. Well, there you go. Job done. ammo left in the turret. <laughs> seem to eat it all instantly. <laughs> and then Firing keep shooting. Your ship, yeah. They seem to do that. No, it, it kept firing. Oh. Before, before when I uh, shot a few rounds at the general direction of that asteroid. Uh, that was I, fun. It turned out I just glitched to the ship and died. Uh, oh. Oops. <laughs> okay, where's my little doodad wagon? What you doing, Nux? I'm gonna see if I can put another cargo container in that links up to that connector. You can. So this cargo container that I'm looking at now is is a small cargo container? Oh, that's a container. You need to do it on this side then. <clears throat> yeah, that's a container, but I, I, that, I didn't place that one. That one's been there for ages. Yeah, but you can't link to that. Oh, so if I take this one out and put it on the other side, that'll be cool then, yeah? yeah you can put one here. Okay, right, let me... You don't need to take that one out. I actually haven't got any components on me, but I will go get them. Oh, I've got... Ah, no, I need interior plate. Okay, never mind. Sorry! Mm, not sure if I had any or not. Apparently I fell inside the ship and just... died. Everybody is dead Dave. <laughs> right, I need impl interior plates. I know this much, but what else do I need? For a, is it a small cargo container, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Construction components, small steel tubes. Construction components. Oh, that's a girder, I want small steel tubes.
And it needs to be on this side with the cube facing. Yeah, okay. Right, so that's sweet. Uh, we need motors, displays, and computers. Oh! My suit's health is low. I shall go rectify this immediately. To the rectifier! Life support failure imminent. No, no, no. <laughs> I think not. I need that life to live. Flame on! <laughs> yeah, right. Is that? Is Meteor that? storm inbound. Uh oh. The warning's a little bit late, I would say, because. Uh, <laughs> Three percent is not a viable time to get back. Okay, right. Small storage container. Now, how do I get this to pull from this? Um, you can't. What? <laughs> The network is not configurable in any way. Unless you can't turn it off. <laughs> Hang on. No, I know how to fix this. Give me a second. It's alpha software, remember? I know how to make this work. I am no mere fool! What are you doing? I am making magic, my good man. <laughs> I think the issue is that stuff isn't being transferred to the connector at the back by the mining ship. This has got nowhere to go, is it? The connector has a buffer, the buffer is not being filled, so it's not sending anything into the, ship, into the uh, big ship. Huh. Okay, hang on. Give me, 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 give me. Where's all the stuff? There. I think you have it all. Right. Is that a conveyor tube already there? What are you? Conve yeah, there's a conveyor here. So where does this go then? Where do you go, Mr. Conveyor? <laughs> where do you go now, Mr. Conveyor? You go to cargo container 333. What is what is in here? That's the large cargo container. Which so then connects on through to the network. Mr. Cargo Container. The issue isn't the containers in the network, it's this docking port thing. It just ain't behaving. <laughs> this angle is fucking with my head. <laughs> Get back down. Is it not just a power docking pool? No, it's no. item transfer. It is definitely item transfer, yeah? Yes. Uh, do we need an, an ejector or something? No. I'm sure I've seen this working in videos, man. I'm sure. <clears throat> well, I have it set up in my little world. And it works, world. yeah? Yep. The only difference is the connector was straight on the container. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me 
you say the ship configuration in the game, yeah. Oh, were well, you in there already? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, G. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want K. Right. What does collect all mean? It pulls everything from the containers into itself. And it should be doing that and it's not. What about now? Nope. Throw out on, yeah. Collect all off. Throw out means it ejects stuff in space. Is that not what because it's attached to the connector, so I assume it's going to throw stuff into the opposing connector. No, it dumps it into space. But it's not doing that anyway, because there's nothing in it. Do we need to hook it up straight to the refinery? No. There was stuff in the connector when we docked. It's gone now. It's been sucked through. Okay. But I have an idea. Where are we? Connector. Unlock. <laughs> right. Uh, connector. Lock. Inventory connector is not working. It should be dumping stuff in there and it's not, and I don't know why. <laughs> you sound so angry. Not angry, but like, you know, oh, please just work. Please just work, come on now. Why are you doing this to mm. me? <laughs> I added some uh, uranium to the platforms uh, furnace thingy. Oh, thank Whatever. you. Because I found Reactor. some... Hmm? Reactor. Reactor, indeed, yes. I found some on the doodad vessel and... I thought you should be good, put it to good use. Yeah, you had a damage armor block. But I guess that's what they're for. Taking damage. <laughs> it is their purpose. This is lame, I just want to drop some resources off, like some kind of Tiberian miner. Your whole life you have uh, dreamed of being a, the, not the refiner, but the harvester. Yeah, mate. <laughs> and they won't <laughs> let you! Yeah. It's alright, I'm still getting paid for this. I'm, I'm on the clock with my refining technical problem. <laughs> Does it go yellow to show docking and then green to show success? No, yellow to show disconnected. Okay, so the connector's still not filling up. Okay, yellow. It's gone yellow and they're connected now. Yeah. Can you see where it's kind of pulling me in? Yeah. It's like a short range docking thing. White, nothing happening. And yellow pulling me in. Nice. And then, blocked. Oh, excellent. Okay, so that's progress. Yeah. 
the, I don't think the progress or the problem is with the connector. At least not the, uh, the actual connection. Oh, you turn collect all. Stuff in the station side of the connector. Oh, that's good. Who in the hell is Tasty Genessa? Have we got a new player in the game? No, I just got a message on Skype. So please add me to your contact or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it you. Could, could be, be anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my uh, standard question to Skype contact me is let's start. Do I know you? <laughs> yeah. And if the answer is anything other than uh, yes, I am X or yes, we work <laughs> together, then it's like, nope. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Well, it's a woman's name out of all the ladies I know. Janessa is not one of them. Janessa. That sounds like one of them sort of double names. Like yeah. Jennifer and Vanessa. Janessa. <laughs> well, I don't know any Jennifers or any Vanessas. So, like report a spam, decline, goodbye. <laughs> report a spam? You don't fuck around. <laughs> they don't just get the decline, they get the full two fingers. You are gonna have some issues with Steam, my friend. <laughs> Skype. Oh, was it on Skype I added you? Yeah. Oh, well, then, yeah, definitely get rid of that. That's weird. One of my viewers is stalking your DR. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I've heard the sound of your husky Northern Irish voice and they just can't help themselves, <laughs> DR. <laughs> they are a flurry of emotion. Oh, how can they? <laughs> no, that's just the thing. If, uh, if somebody who knows you elsewhere is gonna add you into your contacts then they usually warn you in advance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nobody yeah. I know is gonna be adding me on Skype. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, do you have this con uh, this uh, channel open? Okay, let's make contact. But if it's uh, a random thingy then it's like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, the only person that might add me on Skype I know is Skype name already, so. <laughs> and it's not Tasty Genetics. So. <laughs> that sounds like one of them dodgy, like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> right, I need some bulletproof glass. <laughs> Good luck. So will Tasty Genetics. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, know, there's 35 units in uh, container one. Uh, bulletproof glass is there. Yep. Oh shit, just threw my welder away. Good start, good start. <laughs> uh, bulletproof glass, thank you very much, it's very kind of you. I love how you can use the jetpack drop to sort of align yourself properly, that's kind of cool. That's until it kills you. Ah. No, it's not the drop that kills you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hitting the uh, specky rocks below. Right. I have hooked up what I believe to be a basic conveyor system. Now I don't know if it needs to go from conveyor to conveyor and then into storage. But this probably won't work because this is very basic. What's this thing on top of here? Is this... What's this to do with? Oh, this is a collector. Okay. Should we get rid of the collector? It's not doing much there. I don't know, just leave it for now. There's something wrong with the mining ship. It should be transferring everything in those containers into that collector. Connector, whatever it is. Mining ship, why you no work? Why you no worky? I'm just gonna say you 
Yeah, you broke it. Probably. Because it wouldn't be the first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and probably won't be the last. Ah, okay. Connector. So our connector is the one that's white, and anything that's attached to this ship is white. And anything that's attached to the main ship is yellow. And anything that's red is incomplete. Okay, right, so all our stuff is white. Now, I don't understand. If we set R1 to throw out off, it's not going to do anything. I don't... Does it not need to be... On our ship, we need to be outputting, and on the connector on the station, it needs to be inputting. Um, those options aren't what you think they are. Are they not? No, collect all means collect all from the attached inventories. And throw out means dump stuff into space. Right. Okay. And what does lock and unlock do? That's the docking part. Okay. Well, neither of them are lit up. They, they aren't uh, options, they're buttons. They're oh, okay. I'm going to try uh, disconnecting this compare system probably. Mm -hmm. Figure the reconnection might uh, sort of make start things. Maybe. I hope, please. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Why would I pray to him? <laughs> He'll see it. <laughs> If anything, he owes me the favors. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've been in this part of the ship before. This is all new and wonderful. I know that feeling. Could you imagine? This is what I liked about Red Dwarf, the fact that they'd be living on a ship and like 90% of it was unexplored. Yep. That was the awesome thing. <laughs> it was pretty much a city flying through space. But it didn't get worse when they went to Starbug, do you know what I mean? Even though they, they didn't have that ship to explore anymore, they still had like the sort of... Mm, it was a bit of a cop-out just suddenly making Starbug a long-range shuttle though, as opposed to the sort of <laughs> land getter it was. Mm. I suppose they could have retrofitted it a bit. They, uh, the, the storyline behind it was that the, uh, they clashed with their future selves, didn't they? But the, the, when they killed their future selves or their, their past, or their future selves killed them, they, the timelines had to correct themselves and be, um, during the correction, Starbug was expanded. That's why when they go, you remember at the beginning of Tika to Ride, just before they, uh, <laughs> jumped Lee, Lee Harvey Oswald out the window, uh, Crichton and that are walking around the the expanded cargo bay, isn't they? And they're like, oh, it's massive now. What can we do with it all? Mm. And the geese and uh, Crichton's like, oh, with your permission, I'd like to uh, I'd like to defrag my memory. And Cat's uh, like, oh, what's wrong with you? Over the years, you've had more RAM than a pack of sheep. <laughs> And that's them walking through the expanded cargo bay, sort of explaining everything that's going on. Because time space continuum mismatch. So don't question it. Yeah. All right, we won't. I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> of the connectivity don't. thing. Mm -hmm. Don't get annoyed, get a Furby, they're much more interesting. 
No, I'm not falling far short of one day. Yeah, they actually banned those things in a lot of places. Oh, Furbies? Yeah. That like, uh, secret installation sort of thing. Just, they recorded or something, didn't they? <laughs> I think like they, they had... record what you say and then repeat it. Yeah, they had the they had the ability if you were determined enough to mm. sit there and teach your damn Furby to say shit. <laughs> you could t you could teach it phrases and stuff. I think. You know what I'm annoyed with that I missed. I grew up. <laughs> Heelys, man. Heelys look freaking awesome. I want some Heelys. Too old for them now, though. Wear Heelys now, and you look like an idiot. They're basically like Skechers trainers with wheels in the back of them that you can glide along on. Oh. So like half shoe, half roller skis. Yeah. I wanted Heelys. We just had fucking like Pokemon cards and yo-yos. And pogs. Yeah, pogs. Pogs were there. Yeah, pogs were a good one. Yeah. I used to have loads of those. <laughs> I had the little thing you could um, like put stuff in and you hit the the thing down. The pog the maker. Pog yeah. Yeah, I had one of them. I used to tear up all my Sonic comics just to make pogs out of them. <laughs> Good times, man. Good times. <laughs> it was always a quest of like, make really cool box. Yeah. Getting the slammers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big fuck off metal discs. Woohoo! <laughs> there is a boardroom somewhere. Someone was like, oh, so, yeah, pogs are cool, but how can we how can we bring more of the youth in? I don't know. Let's give them big fucking metal shiny discs. Yeah, that'll work. Because <laughs> they're not going to end up being weapons. Sore loose is not going to take them and just go mental with it. <laughs> you just see some kid there with a slammer, like, against the grinder, sharpening it. <laughs> yeah, mate. My mate Kyle, me and Kyle used to do Beyblades, like, this, and that was probably the last big hobby before we finally grew up and stopped getting into hobbies and that. And uh, even then, we grew up pretty late, to be honest with you. We still play Magic the Gathering, which I suppose is a bit of an adult's game, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's more an adult. But uh, yeah, he, he had a he had a Beyblade, and he just come back from like Japan or somewhere, mm. and uh, they were big into it over there. Like they have competitions mm. and stuff with like the latest fads that come out. Mm -hmm. And he had a weight ring. Like the, the Beyblade usually came with like three components. You had the base, which was obviously the spinning top. Then you had the weight disc, which was like gave it balance and that to make it spin longer or or hit hard or whatever. And then on top you had like the attack disc, which was like the sharp bits. But he come back from Japan or wherever with this uh, with this weight disc that was literally twice the size of the base and the attack. <laughs> so whenever he spun it, it would only spin for like two, three seconds, but it would utterly kill your <coughs> one, do you know what I mean? Like your <laughs> one would just tap it and bang, that was it, like flattened. So yeah, he had an utterly brutal one. That's like um, Robot Wars. Mm -hmm. um, do you watch... Mythbusters. I do sometimes. Um, I see I the latest one with the Simpsons episode and the Indiana Jones one. Yeah. No, I think it was Grant Imahara and Adam Savage. Oh yeah. They actually entered Robot Wars. Oh no way. Or Battlebots, whatever it was. Oh, the Ameri like the American one. Yeah, I forget, but their robot was <laughs> sort of disqualified because it was just too good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It was. They basically took a walk, <laughs> put blades on it, and made it into a big spinning thing. And there was just so much speed and inertia there. Anything that touched it just got. There was actually bots thrown over the fence out of the ring. Oh no way! That's excellent. <laughs> yeah, they actually won by default one year. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I don't think they even took part. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you win. Mm -hmm. Now we'll see who gets second place at Aww. the start of the season. <laughs> Something like that. I forget exactly. <laughs> but it was just so awesome. Beyblades were cool. Nothing can touch it. You can like Beyblades were like sort of the budget 
robot wars for kids, do you know what I mean? Like, you could customise so much shit, like, you could get longer rip cords for your launchers, and you could gear your launchers differently and things like that, and you could, you could properly modify all your little Beyblades and everything. So it's kind of like a budget, modular robot wars, I guess. I should get into that. Then we should just build a robot, man. Machine. Yeah, we should just build a fucking... Look, if there's some dude in Japan who can make a walking mech robot, that thing with the freaking laser arm and whatever, if you know that, click, click, whatever the hell that thing was, if we can, if someone could build that, then surely me and you can put our heads together with EG and Bit Viper and build a freaking robot. And Law can find all the parts, so you're already conscripted. You can't talk your way out of this one. Uh, can you repeat the last uh, two minutes or so? I Twenty minutes. Listening. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna I build a robot, and you, oh. you could be our scrap expert, our scavenger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you like can go out and find going. all the components. So I'm good with that. <laughs> Me and DR will build the will build the greatest robot ever seen. And easy can program it with his mind powers. 